Welcome back, everybody, to another ridiculous M19 box opening here. Got a, got a box of M19. This is box opening number five of six. And uh, let's dig right in. See what we got. If you guys are interested, you could check out the other box openings that, uh, that I've done. They're on YouTube and uh, should be... I'll put them in a playlist so they're easy to find for you. I don't want you struggling. As usual, I'm not going to show you guys the commons. I will show you the uncommons, the rare, and uh, the foils. If there's a cool token, I'll show you that too. So this time we got Aegis of uh, the Heavens, a Regal Bloodlord, and a Herald of Faith. Got the old, the old Orzov pack. Psychic Symbiont is our foil boy. Followed by a mentor of hot garbage. Mentor of hot garbage. Hot garbage mentor. Vigilant Bailoff, Thud, and a Ravenous Harpy. And a Miscaller. Mantle, they're making a Mono White Weenie deck in standard. Thoughts? I don't know. Do I have any thoughts? Ever? Do I have any thoughts whatsoever? All right, we got Brawl, Bash, Ogre, Green Seeker, and a bookcase. You guys like bookcases? Stop all the downloading. And we found our first mythic, Palladium Ores. Our second Palladium Ores, unfortunately not our second Nicol Bolas. Instead, we get the Naya Dragon. That's probably unplayable, unfortunately. I hope someone proves me wrong. Foil again. Foiled again. I'm going to Hungry Harry's for the first time. What do you recommend? I recommend you get the deep dish with your choice of flavored crust. De definitely get a flavored crust. And uh, three cheese. It's very, very good. I would be I would be satisfied with that. Poison tip arrows, archer, rex sage, and infernal hellion. Infernal hellion. What did I say? Infernal? Whatever. Won't you shut up? Graveyard Marshal. Number three. Maybe number four, but probably number three. And a Dagger Claw Basilisk. Again, I was going to be like, oh, this is our first Dagger Claw Basilisk. But then I was like, no, it's probably not. We just haven't looked at the comments. For all your ASMR crinkling needs, Frank's Pack Opening Emporium. Skyrider Patrol, Mirror Image, and Fountain of Renewal. Followed by a Desecrated Tomb. Yes. Nailed it. Oh, what if you just put a, took a Palladium Ores and then put a bunch of enchantments on it and then didn't attack until you had lethal? Like, John, John Graham, Delmon, Green, Naya, Elder Dragon, plus Blanchard Armor, one hit kills. Yeah, that would be actually pretty sweet. Dragon Egg, Heroic Reinforcements, and a Rogue's Gloves. Followed by a Demon of Catastrophes every time with that good art. It's just very good. <clears throat> Either way, what are you going to do? Yeah, I agree. I don't know why the tomb is rare. It doesn't feel rare. It gives you one bat when you exile a specific card from only your graveyard. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, Meteor Golem, Declare Dominance, and Millstone. And a Leonin War Leader, which I like, but I think I have about five of them now. I think what Magic struggles with, uh, and one thing I would like to see worked on, is they have a real bad... They're not great at making sure the feel-bads are minimized when you open really bad rares. That should be uncommons. 
Um, I know not every rare can be a knockout. I also know Mark Rosewater's philosophy about how you need bad rares to, to actually, you know, for good rares to exist. You have to have that balance. But still, like, rec recollect Aether Tunnel and Sift. When you open a card like Wind Reader Sphinx as a rare, I guess it's better that it's not a mythic. I mean, this is obviously not, can't be an uncommon, right? So, I don't know. Probably a bad example. I just didn't want to open it. So. I, re I understand how that can be a rare. I don't know. Look, I just want nickel boluses, okay? I'm not asking for a lot here. I'm literally asking for one specific Elder Dragon. Rupture Spire, Arcane Encyclopedia, and a Knightly Valor. Followed by Scape Shift number three. If only I had as many Scape Shifts as I did Nicol Bolas's. Reverse what I just said. I feel like then we'd be in good shape. Not today, though. Not today. All right. Got a little kitty cat. And, uh, yeah, that's not exciting. All right. Uh, Psychic Corrosion Rise and a Siege Breaker Giant. Unexciting. Valiant Knight. Not, it's not great. It's not exciting. But I think the majority is not exciting, so, you know. Shieldmare, Sleep, and Aerial Engineer. Followed by this Hydra. This hungering Hydra. Like you do. Valium Knight? <laughs> that's... That's not exciting at all. That's significantly calmer than what I said. Oh. A foil. A foil has... A new challenger has merged. Gravedigger, Blanchard Armor, a Johnny's welcome. Okay. Banefire. Not the most exciting card ever. <laughs> yeah. Foil, Aegis of the Heavens. Classic. Still waiting for that nickel bolus here. No, no, uh, no, no reverse cards staring me in the face, unfortunately. Oh, there's a foil in this pack, though. Switcheroo, skilled animator, and Aether Shield Artificer. The uncommons. Phylactery Lich. What a son of a lich. And a Liliana's Contract Foil. That looks pretty good. Can you focus? Logitech C920? Never. All right. Well, we had a good run. So, Josh, the problem with Mythics always paying for the pack they came in, like baseline 10 bucks and, and, and 350 other sets, is that once you... I guess 350 is reasonable. But it's really hard to design that many 350 Mythics. You know what I mean? Because it's so hard to predict. Uh, fire finish, a gear per guide, and a militia bugler or burglar. Definitely not bugler. Your choice, though. I'll let you pick. Omniscience. <laughs> I have opened twice as many omniscience, twice as many crucible of worlds, and three times as many escape shifts as I have nickel boluses. Just in case we're counting. And also three times... Those same, those same ratios to any other Planeswalker in the set as well. So that's... Oh, my old uh, Nicobolus checklist card. A classic. Hyrenser, militia, militia Bug Bugler again. <laughs> Just gonna, it's never changing. Hyrenser's Cage and a Psychic Corrosion here. Seems fine. Foil Swamp. The most uneventful foil you could possibly open. And a Sarkhan's Unsealing, 3 of 4.
I think Wizards has a pretty good idea about the value of cards going in most times. Maybe. Admiral, what's going on, buddy? Psychic Symbiont, Diagraph Ghoul, and a Novice Knight. No? No focus? Okay. Well, we tried. Followed by It's Your Boy, Sarkon. Probably one of the uh, the more excited Planeswalkers I am about. About Probably more than one of the more excited. One of the planeswalkers I'm more excited about. Let's go with that. Let's do that one. If you guys had any idea what it says, I apologize because uh, focus is not the strong suit here. Why does omniscience exist? Necessity to reprint a reliquary tower, and better yet, why does omniscience exist? Uh, Follow-up question: Why does omniscience exist? One Nicobolus in four boxes seems pretty absurd. But we're not done with this one yet, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count those dragon eggs before they hatch, as it were. We got Druid of the Horns, Murder, and uh, Exclusion Mage, not to be confused with Reflector Mage, which is utterly busted. Alpine Moon. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're not. All right. Volcanic Dragon, Blanchard Armor, Bone to Ash. Bone to Ash. Never go Bone to Ash. Is he going to say it every single time? Probably. Isareth the Awakener. I don't know how to pronounce this, but. Are the neck cracks part of the ASM artistry? Um, If, I mean, if that is a trigger for you, then, then sure. If not, no. I could also do like I could do some card flipping in the actual mic if that if that helps you guys. If that helps with your with your sleep. We got Reassembling Skeleton, Nightmare's Thirst, and a Tectonic Rift. Followed by Shit Dino. Big old ten ten for five. That's good. That's good times. Doot, doot. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, foil again. Foiled again. I'm still waiting for that three mare pack. We got a Horizon Scholar, a Diamond Mare, and a Draconic Disciple here. Ha da da. Ox Wand. And a Ghost Form. Neither of those were exciting. I apologize for the lack of excitement here. El Dinosaurio is gigante. That's correct. That is that is correct. And what better thing to go with our ox wand than our own ox? All right, we got a surge mare, a volley veteran, and an exclusion mage in this bad boy. Why are they all bad boys? I don't know. And another fraying omnipotence. What do we got here? Four packs plus like twelve. What is our what is our mythic count at now? I don't know. Boy, you know so quickly when there's a nickel bolus in the pack or when there's not. You're just like, oh, I've looked one card deep. It's not there. Dang. A Johnny's Primate Plague Mare and a bookcase. <laughs> Whoever thought you were gonna say that? Oh, there's a bookcase in this pack. It's mighty suspicious. Here's a patient rebuilding. A uh, card I enjoy quite quite a bit, but again, no evidence that there's going to be any uh, any play to that bad boy. Yeah, I, I'm not a big dude. I, I'm not a big person who cares about versions. I'd rather just play the cheapest version and sell the more expensive versions if I have the opportunity to do so. So, like, if I was able to get ports for older, for like legacy or vintage, I would just get. The cheap ports and uh, be able to. I, I'm I'm more concerned with being able to play the formats than uh, cost effectively than than getting the most expensive blinged out versions. Gutter Snipe, Bone Ashley, and Vanguard, otherwise known as Cat Lady, and Vivian's Invocation number seventy five. 
when 74 just isn't enough. Still nothing, still nothing. One, two, three, four. And we've got Lightning Strike, Gargoyle, Sentinel, and a uh, Gaspark Twins. Followed by a Planeswalker, ladies and gentlemen. Sigiled Sword of Valoron. More than a Planeswalker. We tried. We tried to will it into existence, but the universe was not a simulation there. Is Crucible the highest value mythic? No, I think it's Nicol Bolas. Ooh, a Vivian emblem. Mm, little Vivs. Vivi V. Why is he saying that? I don't know. Brawl Bash, Ogre, Blood Divination, Lightning Mare. Still, we still have not gotten the Triple Mare pack yet. And a prodigious growth. It's the saddest, saddest thing I've ever seen. Actually, I'm going to put that on my Vine Mare slash my Palladium Wars. And then we're going to have a 13-13. I'm going to put, I'm going to go Palladium Wars on 6, Prodigious Growth on 7, Prodigious Growth on 8, and then attack them for 20 exactly. Do you think that sword would be playable if it had the actual swords converted mana cost? So it would just cost 1 less to equip. It would cost 2 to equip instead of 3. Maybe. I mean, the ability is good. Is it First Strike or Vigilance? I think it's Vigilance, right? It turns you into a knight. Yeah, it's plus 2, plus 0 oh in Vigilance, and then you make a 2-2 two, two attacking creature with Vigilance. So that's not bad. The problem is, like, you don't want to spend 6 mana to, for, that, for that effect. Alright. Knightly Valor, Satyr Enchanter, and Tectonic Rift. Okay. Seems good. I don't know why I said it seems good. That was no demanding dragon. More like doo-doo dragon. Followed by a foil doom dissenter. Meh. No nickel bolus. Two, three, four. Your foil. All right. So we got Gift of Paradise and two other Jabrones. We got a Departed Deckhand and an Enigma Drake. Okay. Foil is Skilled Animator. Non-foil is Spitfire. I think I have a playset now. I might have five. At least a playset, though. No Nickel Bulls. One Nickel Bulls in five boxes is utterly absurd. I don't understand how these things happen to me. Skyrider Patrol, Meteor Golem, and a Gear Per Guide. Followed by a dismissive Pyromancer. I'm quite dismissive of that card. So, I know how you feel, buddy. A Johnny Emblem. Horizon Scholar, Vine Mare, and a Diamond Mare. Oh, the two Mare pack. We're so close. I wonder if that's... I think that's the closest we've gotten. I think we might have gotten another, one another two Mare pack. And uh, another Metamorphic Alteration, which I think is probably like number four of that. So, that's cool. I mean, it seems like a standard only card, sure, but I play standard. I already have everything in Modern. I don't need Crucibles and Scape Shifts for Modern. I need Nicobolas because I don't have new cards. I have old cards. And I think it's cool, and I do want to play with it, so... I don't... I don't think it has to be a certain level of cool. I just... It's cool enough for me to want to play with it. Mega Stand, Herald of Faith, and Fountain of Renewal. And an Infernal Reckoning. Alright, we got one, two, three... We got six packs left. How many Mythics do we... we I think we are at least four. Maybe. I think it's actually closer to three. We got a Sarkon, an Omniscience... A scape shift and a palladium ores. Okay, so four. So we're definitely do at least one mythic in these six packs. I mean, I have no desire for modern cards just because they're like, just because you know they're played in modern. Like that's not enough for me. I, I actually also I play modern, but I have everything I need, so I could care less about opening seven, eight, and nine scape shifts. Uh, what do we got here? Stitcher's supplier, vampire sovereign, and a colossal majesty.
The worst part is I don't even know if Plock Worm is unplayable in Standard. It could just be fine. People are playing Sifter Worm in Standard. Who knows? Cyberdrack, have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Siegebreaker Giant, okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. There's an extra uncommon. Maybe we were looking, maybe one of these was a common. Nope, those are all uncommons. That's very strange. I don't know what's happening right now. I think I'm having a stroke. Reliquary Tower. Okay, so I think I just totally messed up what was going on in this pack. But either way, the rare... There's a rare mystic archaeologist and a disperse in here. A foil disperse. So, I have no idea what just happened. I think I... Oh, that's what happened. There's a rise from the grave. I took one too many... Uh, one too many commons, which is actually a rare... Nope, no nickel balls. All right, well. One more planeswalker in this bag. Vigilant Bailoth, Aerial Engineer, and a thud. Another Lena. Eh. Three packs. One mythic. Gin. Gin of Wishes, not mythic. You can tell the frustration is setting in. Two, three, four. It sucks. I don't want to buy a case for like X, X hundred dollars, right? Whatever a case costs. Even though it is for work, you know, I make videos for it, whatever. But it's frustrating to have to buy a case and then also um, have to spend more on top of that for any cards you didn't get. You know what I mean? Fell Spectre, Departed Deckhand, and uh, Double Cast were the, the uncommons there. Two packs left. Nope. Not in this bad boy. One pack left, and I don't think it's happening. Demonic Disciple, a Leonin Vanguard, and a Lightning Mare. Followed by a Resourceful Cleric. Remorseful Cleric. He's not very resourceful, I imagine. And last pack. No. Did not happen. Okay. One Nicobolus in five boxes. That is... Foil Valiant Knight. That's cool. And a Chaos Wand. That is our last pack. This box is not great, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I guess if we can hit one Nicobolus, I guess we get two out of, out of four, out of our place out of four in the next box, but... You know. I don't have... Uh, I don't have high hopes for it. I have also never completed a playset from a box. I've I've never never made that claim either. I I just said that uh, I I used to be able to uh, pretty regularly when I would buy buy I bought a case of Ravnica, I bought a case of Gate Crash. I would be able to uh, open three to four of the the requisite mythics I would need, and that was a good amount. Like it was pretty close to to being where I needed to be. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to check out more content from me, feel free to do that, because why wouldn't you? And uh, if you guys want to support me on Twitch or Patreon, you can find both those links in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.